What is prohibited is to intentionally cut or trim the hair and the nails. People go to ridiculous extremes. And if they scratch and a hair falls out, they think their hajj is nullified or something like this, right? Or if the nail is a little bit broken accidentally, right? Then they're worried, you know, because as you know, when your nails are going to grow, something might scratch it and your nail gets bent. What can you do with a bent nail now? So then they wrap their finger in a band-aid maybe, you know, make sure that the nail doesn't break anymore. This is going to extremes. Anything that is unintentional is overlooked. Anything that is unintentional is overlooked. Additionally, there seems to be no prohibition whatsoever for a gentle combing for men and for women. Because the prohibition was halq, and that is to cut, and that is to shave. There seems to be no prohibition for a combing. And therefore, if you do comb and a hair or two falls off, this is not halq, this is not going to the barber, and this is overlooked. So if you intentionally shave or trim and there's a reason or no reason, if there's no reason to do so, you are sinful. If there's a reason to do so, you're not sinful. But in both cases, you must give a penalty. Now, what is a reason? In those days, once upon a time, there was lice, right? Unfortunately, it's still around, but not that common. If you have lice, let's say, or if you have an irritation in the scalp, or if there's any issue that causes you to basically, you need to shave your hair off, right? Any type of issue, suppose uh, you get a, a wound, let's say, right? And you go to the, the, the local clinic right there and he shaves your hair off to put some stitches, let's say, okay, in the state of ihram. This is a reason, correct? You are not sinful, but you must pay the fidya. What is the fidya? The fidya for this, you have an option, one of three things. The most difficult in terms of money-wise is to pay the whole sacrifice. But it's not wajib to do so. For something as trivial as this, the sharia has given you an option. One of three things. And it's not either first number one, then number two, then number three. You may choose whichever of the three. You may give a penalty of a sacrifice. That's $150, right? Or you may fast three days after hajj, not during hajj, when you come back home. Or you may feed six people. And of course, 90% of the world, if they fall into it, they feed six people. The Sharia does not say that you have to be poor or rich. any of these three is allowed. How do you feed six people? Very simple. You go to the local shawarma shop. I kid you not. You buy six shawarmas and you walk around in Mina, in Muzdalif and Arafat, and you give it to the poor people sitting there who have no roof over their head. And you have fed six people. Simple, right? You have fed six poor people. You don't have to buy shawarma. I'm just giving an example. Okay, You can buy McDonald's hamburger. There's a McDonald's in Mina. I, I, there is a McDonald's in Mina. You can buy McDonald's hamburger and french fries. A happy meal. And give it to the, the, the kids there. You have fed six people. Okay, Six poor people in that area. You may buy it yourself or you may designate somebody. Go and, and purchase it. And in our times, many restaurants, they actually have a special section. Believe it or not, there's some money-making business, isn't it, right? So they have a special section, fidya section. The restaurant has a fidya section. You go and you just give the money, and there's a section in the back where they give it to the poor people, the food. So whatever you do, basically, you have to feed six people. This is the easiest thing to do, and it is completely permissible. So we said, if you cut your hair or trim your nails intentionally, or... Uh, uh, sorry, not in time. If you cut your, trim, your, your, hair, your hair or your nails for a legitimate reason or for no reason, you must give a fidya. But it must be done intentionally. If it's unintentional, there is no fidya. So like I said, if you, know, if you scratch your hair and something fall, you know, a hair falls off, or if your nail just scratches against the wall and then it breaks, there is no fidya whatsoever. Also the concept of there being three hairs scratching, this is, there's nothing from the sunnah like this. Cutting and shaving is understood. You go to the barber, you're cutting your hair. You shave, you shave. But simply combing or simply touching, that does not necessitate a fidya. And there is no evidence whatsoever that combing is not allowed in the ihram. No evidence whatsoever. Sisters may comb, brothers may comb. I have done hajj, I take my comb with me. I have, I, back then I had a mashallah, very big beard. I would comb my, my beard every day in hajj. And I don't see any problem with that.